welcome back to Call of Duty Mobile, everybody. Today, we got a huge update in store for you guys that I think you are going to absolutely love with some major stuff in it, like the brand new Airborne class for Battle Royale, new anti-cheat to keep the hackers out of matchmaking, and even the controller support. So we got some pretty major stuff that we are going to be going over in today's video. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Stay excited for it and pop some popcorn. It's going to be a keeper. But before we dive into the video, I also want to announce that we're doing an 800 COD point giveaway on this call. Call of Duty mobile video as well if you want to enter in. It's super simple. Step number one, make sure you're subscribed and while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well. Not only does that count as a part of your entry, but it also helps you stay in the loop for future Call of Duty mobile videos where we are doing more giveaways, staying in the loop with new updates coming to the game, new features, new weapons, new maps, new events, new anything, and trying to have an absolutely fun time. Not to mention, especially that zombies mode that's coming our way soon. I want it, we're staying in the loop on it, and we're playing the bejesus on of it when it comes out step number two make sure to drop a like on the video and step number three leave a comment down below letting me know your call of duty mobile username and while you're at it let me know your favorite dessert because personally i want a cookie right now if any of y'all could deliver me a cookie that'd be great it's that simple that'll enter you in on today's giveaway best of luck in the giveaway and here we have the winner of the last call of duty mobile video giveaway on the last call of duty mobile video we're trying to do them on every single call of duty mobile video so like i said make sure you have that notification bell hit to stay in the loop with these giveaways and all the new call of duty mobile stuff coming to the game as well if you are this winner make sure to reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below letting me know the best way that i could privately get in touch with you and best of luck everyone else the brand new giveaway kicking off today but without further ado let's get into this update because we got some major stuff that we got to go over and whoa, i am hype about some of this so recently call of duty mobile dropped their brand new community update they did not drop this last week in the middle of the whole halloween skin controversy and they actually do talk about the halloween skin controversy a little bit here so we are going to be reading through this wall in the meantime hopefully you guys enjoy some decent gameplay we got in the background for y'all that i got earlier today but without further ado uh, greetings everyone it is now just a month past launch and before we get fully into this community update we'd like to address community feedback we received on the halloween lucky draw we wanted to respond to your request for clarification about this themed event including more details of how it works and the probabilities of getting those unique items we have made many changes over the last week to address that an in-game article linked to the event that shows more detailed probabilities for obtaining each lucky draw item and summaries of the event breakdown in that linked article we aim to have these events to feel fair and as clear as possible with lucky draw and other events there are always considerations to make them more clear or balanced based on your feedback so please do keep letting us know how you feel positive or negative we are always listening and receptive for now we are committed to making those changes to show you exactly how an event works and how rare each item might be so i'm calling a little bit of bs on this because they're like we aim to have these events feel fair and as clear as possible no, you don't. Come on, a freaking, a, a snail could have made that event more clear. Okay, I don't want to rage too hard at this, but this is just straight up PR talk. It's nice that they're changing this moving forward, but the fact that they're acting like they didn't know what they were doing for this Halloween lucky draw event is just like... They definitely knew what they were doing, man. It's pretty straightforward. But on the good news side of things, it is good to know that now in game, there are actually links to see the probabilities for each item in crate openings. And then the Halloween lucky draw, there is a specific probability for each gun instead of just like the general probability for like, oh, 42% chance of getting an epic, for example. So that's definitely something great that did come out of this. In addition to an event breakdown in that linked article, which is them detailing how the Halloween lucky draw works and that like each pull gets more and more expensive so still kind of scummy what they did before but at least it looks like they're gonna fix it moving forward so better than nothing i mean at the end of the day i'm still gonna be opening up all this new stuff that does come because i do want to show off all these new skins and stuff for you guys and hopefully you guys can satisfy your need to open crates and live vicariously through me that way you don't gotta blow any of your money instead you can just watch me burn my freaking bank account alive yeah, but hey, I'm more than happy to make sacrifices like that for you absolutely amazing people for supporting me. It's the least I could do to give back. And especially with showing off how, for example, the Halloween Lucky Draw works, like a lot of people saw how that worked from my video and they didn't bother with it, which is a very good outcome that hopefully you guys can see how stuff works, how these skins look in game, all that type of stuff to help you just kind of educate your decision making process more. But moving on, news and updates. The Halloween event continues this week with plenty of content carrying into November, but coming up, we 
we also have new challenges, limited time modes, and a brand new way to play Battle Royale. Take to the skies with the airborne chip and find vertically dynamic ways to drop in on unsuspecting opponents. We have no plans to slow down, and here's just a glimpse of the offerings this week. The Halloween event continues the 1st of November from the 2nd to the 3rd of November. They are having a double EXP weekend from the 1st to the 7th of November. They have the Rockets only mode and challenge from the 4th to the 10th of November. They have some kind of a weekly battle royale challenge. So that's interesting. And I'm excited to see what this challenge is all about. That should be dropping right around the time that this video is out. I'm going to be trying to knock that out to see if there's any good prizes. Try to get those prizes and show it off for you guys. And of course, the airborne class event from the 4th of November to the 11th of November. And that is also going to be coming out around the time of this video. I am going to be in the middle of grinding for it. And I want to show it off for you guys absolutely ASAP. So stay tuned. But I'm super excited for the airborne class because this ability literally allows you to like fly up into the sky as a part of your like uh, battle royale ability kind of like the zombie bomb like the healing kit like that class ability this is going to be a new one that literally lets you fly into the air periodically and drop in on unsuspecting opponents from there so definitely looking forward to the new strategy this is going to incorporate uh nestled in between all of those events are login events and personal milestones some of which offer access to weapons like the msmc abnormality cosmetics or other items there are new ways to challenge yourself complete objectives and grab more tantalizing gear lastly if you haven't been keeping up then take a look at our activision blog that is regularly updated for all things cod mobile whether that is map walkthroughs strategies for br or mp event info or more feedback over the last two community updates we've addressed the several pieces of feedback that the community had been inquiring about and there are still a few continuously coming up controller support and login options we just like to reiterate that both are still being worked on we hear you and we also care a great deal about both topics which is why we are taking the time to make sure that they are both fully fleshed out balanced and ready to go before announcing anything now they also have a section about bots in call of duty mobile since release we have seen many different inquiries of all types about bots in multiplayer and battle royale we know you all have a great many questions about this so let's talk about bots we added bots into cod mobile to provide a way for new players to grow learn and thrive without the constant threat of a full team of higher level and more experienced players continually dominating them they still provide a challenge okay while allowing you to learn the ins and outs of levels test out new builds or weapons and gradually increase your skill bots are not present in ranked matches and in other modes as you grow in skill you'll see fewer and fewer bots present we appreciate all the feedback surrounding this and we will be looking to improve those systems throughout the lifespan of the game so it's good that they are looking to improve bots and we do have some confirmation that the more you play multiplayer even public matches the less bots you get and there are no bots in ranked now there are still like hackers in ranked but i think they're actually addressing this here in the next section and that's a big reason i don't really play a lot of ranked at the moment because there's a pretty big hacker problem going on in there but let's go over this hacker section over here and see what this is talking about a cheater reports this has been a frequently discussed topic this week with many people pinging us about it and we publicly have shown that we are continuously investigating and enforcing on those who wish to upset the balance of the game by using cheats or exploits this will continue to evolve alongside the game as people try to find new ways to break the system and as our teams work to make anti-cheat as strong as possible all that we ask for now is report 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 Please continue to report players in game, but also feel free to tag us or private message us on Reddit or any other social media channel. Just make sure to provide the following info: a screenshot or slash video, likely of the person cheating and whatever cheats they might be using through like a kill cam, for example. Uh, usernames and user ID, if available, and the date and time of the reported match. We have no intention of banning players automatically just based on a report, but we will appropriately investigate and enforce on any players who are found to be cheating. So, long story short, if you guys want to help with this problem, if you guys see a cheater if you see a hacker make sure that you report their account through the in-game system there's also a credit store refresh since our last update the community has been asking about refreshing the items in-game credit store and how often that will happen well hopefully by the time you're reading this update you've noticed that the store has just been updated we intend to refresh that frequently in order to always provide options to purchase a variety of different weapons or items with in-game currency they actually added a pretty cool couple of metal note weapons like the lk24 i think and the aks 74u i kind of want to drop a video with the aks 74u 
keep your eyes peeled. Something might be coming with that. And just a reminder, while we are always looking for feedback in community spaces, you can also report that in game. Hint, look under the question mark icon next to the messages icon. Bug reports. For any issue, please reach out to Activision support through the in game options. But if you're unable to reach out in game, then there are always an online option available through social media or through the contact us web form that they have. Regarding temporary bans, we've seen some reports of a potential issue with continuously receiving temporary bans and that is being investigated. Please note that it may be due to the device having conflicting software that is preventing COD Mobile from updating your player data. If you're encountering that issue, please try uninstalling anything that may potentially be interacting with the app. Facebook linking, this has come up each week so far and originally it was all about issues linking your Facebook. For that, please try clearing your cache and you can find a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to clear your cache on Activision Support's COD Mobile FAQ. However, the more recent contacts are about moving data. Please note that you are currently unable to move your stats slash data from one account to another. Purchasing issues, if you are still encountering any issues purchasing anything from the store, whether it's COD points or a specific item, please make sure the transaction was successful. Wait a few hours and restart the game in case there is a delay and if you still don't see the purchase then please contact player support this month is just the beginning and there's so much more coming to cod mobile like new modes new events new characters and loot are just new ways to decimate your enemies out on the battlefield good luck out there and until next time signed the call of duty mobile team so there you guys have a little bit of an update with some great news about some upcoming events controller support coming to the game probably the way the controller support is going to work by the way is if you're using a controller you're only going to match up with other people who also have a controller i don't think they're gonna let controller players match up with people who just play on their phone because that might be a little bit unfair and i think that's part of the reason it's taking a while they're trying to make sure that controller matchmaking is makes sense and is like optimized properly so we got that coming our way obviously some great stuff coming in like this next week that we're going to be covering and overall some fun times are coming our way that i cannot wait to, to continue covering but that's going to go and wrap it up for this episode of cod mobile hopefully you guys enjoyed best of luck in the giveaway have an absolutely fan for fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya